Hello and welcome to the studio. My name is Liz Gridley and I'm an oil painter from Melbourne, Australia. And this year we're yet again taking on the Oil Tober Challenge. That is, we're painting one oil painting a day for every day in October in 2021, as started by Lena Danya on YouTube. This year, like last year, I asked you guys to supply the prompts and through Instagram, Discord, YouTube and Facebook, you've given me so many amazing ideas. So now all we have to do is chop them all up, stick them in a pot, so that way I never know what I'm going to paint until the day I pull it out of the pot. We've got some paper to prepare as well, and then we get to paint our very first oil toga for the year. So let's get going, I'm so excited. <laughs> To start with, we've been supplied again with some beautiful dodgy paper made right here in Melbourne by Dodgy Roger. This is all completely unique handmade paper and this year I asked for a beautiful gradient from black to white, including some imperfections or rather a nice tie-dye effect of coloured papers. And as you can see, we even got some beautiful circles included. I cannot wait to paint on these. To prime my paper, I'm using Art Spectrum Artist Acrylic Clear Gesso. I discovered this gesso probably a year ago or so and it is absolutely lovely. It has a really matte finish, which is perfect for oil painting, and it's not too gritty or anything like that. So I really like how it works on the paper. As last year, I did two layers of primer on each piece of paper. These already all have one layer of primer on them, but unlike last year, this year I decided to do one layer on the back as well. A tiny little thing I noticed last year was when I signed the back of the artworks, the pen wanted to spread into the fibers of the paper because it's so porous. And if I prime the back of the paper as well, then that means it's nice and sealed from any sort of moisture or things on both sides. So cover all bases. I've been priming for ages, but we got it all done. So that's okay. Last job I need to do is finish cutting out all the prompts. <laughs> Seriously, I cannot say thank you enough to everyone on Instagram, Discord, YouTube, and Facebook for submitting all of these amazing ideas. They're absolutely awesome. There's a huge range in there, I'll admit, and a fair few I've already sort of eyeballed as I saw them come up in notifications and I really want to paint them so we'll have to see how we go. In total we ended up with 114 prompts so thank you so so much. Now getting my station ready I'll be using the sit down easel a little bit more, the tabletop easel made by Edge Pro Gear. And I'm also going to be using water soluble oils. Okay, so just since I just brought out the water soluble oils, I just wanted to mention that the reason I want to use these for the oil toga challenge in general, as opposed to my normal oil paints and my normal mediums, is I'm expecting. <laughs> Yes, my husband and I found out um, I'm pregnant and it's not that necessarily the pigments in this are in any less harmful than they are in normal paints. They've actually got very similar pigments and they do list all the same pigment numbers and things like that as normal oil paints. It's simply that I get to avoid solvents with cleaning. So when I looked up a lot of the information about pregnancy and oil painting, which I might actually do a separate video on, um, the pigments themselves, most of the time they are only harmful when ingested. So I'm gonna be wearing gloves a lot of the time while I'm painting just as an extra precaution. And and then on top of that, yeah, the solvents themselves, it's the inhalation risk. So if I wanted to continue using solvents, I could wear a mask, but for my own comfort, I've decided I want to try and have a bit more of a go with these water soluble oils. So that way I don't need to worry about solvents for the whole course. Um, and I think they'll do really well. You can check out my Cobra video where I review these water soluble oils for the first time up in the corner. But yeah, I'm excited to go forward with these and we might add a few colors as we go, we'll see. All right, let's get back to it. So to start with, I decided to load my palette with every color because I didn't know what I was painting and I figured I'll probably use them in the next coming days, of course. And we're just using the quick drying medium, which 
I really enjoyed using when I painted the hummingbird in my review video and in general I do find I get a problem of too many wet paintings around during this month so quick drying is probably a good idea. Now for the first prompt. I couldn't believe it when this came out. It's expecting! <laughs> I was just talking about being expecting and that's what I pulled out of the bucket. Oh my gosh. Um, I went for a walk with Dipper and after that I decided I didn't want to do something like painting my pregnancy test or something like that. I, I wanted to be a bit more broad. And the previous day I'd actually watched here in Melbourne we have a webcam on one of our office buildings in Collins Street. And the reason there's a webcam there is because we have some local falcons that lay eggs every year and you get to watch them hatch. And the previous day I just watched them hatch. Unfortunately there's no good reference photos of the falcons so I shifted gear a little bit and did another little creature hatching from an egg. And watch as he comes together. I'm really happy with how he turned out. It's super cute on this circle. on this guy. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed doing this painting because I got to chat to my best friend on the phone the whole time and it came together really quickly. I was quite happy. I think I ended up spending about two hours on it but that's including breaks where I was patting Dipper and things like that and answering the doorbell. Um, I've just added the white at the end there just to bring the face out from the grey paper and I super love how it gives him a little glow so super super happy with this first one. I'll be painting on the circles maybe every five or six days and in between on the rectangles. All the pieces from Oiltober will be available on the 1st of November through my website lizgridley.com.au slash shop. If you want to keep track definitely come join me on Instagram where I'll be posting every day what I paint. Here on YouTube I'll probably do a video every five or six days just showing what I've been up to but I'll also try and have a go with shorts so stay tuned and don't forget to wash your brushes in water this time. <laughs>